This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing another video on the Family Finder versus or comparison to the Big Y 700. And this is a haplogroup discussion. I see a lot of people wanting to see the results of Family Finder test, uh, assuming it's going to give them everything they want to know. And it's going to be helpful, but it's nothing near what you see with a Big Y test, Big Y 700. I'm going to take one particular tester from my previous video and if you'd like to watch that first click the card up in this direction i'm going to take that person and show what it what they had and where they are now because they did both family finder and then weeks and weeks and weeks passed and then they got the data for their big y 700. let's get into this on the data before i presented in my previous video that i, I had over uh, 60 some odd testers 70 basically testers that had done the family finder and were on some level of chip. I had decided that I was going to do this video originally to cover these seven people down this this one right here, uh, one through seven, what, this, what their status is now. The reality of it was as soon as I started to look at all but one of them, it wasn't going to gain you much information. However, this particular tester right here, r dash S1491 is where this person was. They had a family finder test. They recently did that test at the end of last year. And because it was after the announcement by Family Tree DNA, they received a confirmed haplogroup. I'm going to look up and show you what RS1491 looks like. And then we're going to go take a look at the person's update and see the comparison between those two. And I went went into the discover tool under your haplogroup story which again in my previous video I discussed this and this is where the person's test was I just showed you the s1491 it shows here that s1491 is about 1950 BCE or before current era or BC depending on the way you want to word it if you look at the scientific data on this there is a curve here that ranges but the mean in, in actuality at this point in time is 1955 BCE. It can range anywhere between 2704 uh, and 1321 BCE. But the mean is where they have, it's where we consider, we use that in our data when we're looking at it. And unless we get more testers in an area, uh, as we get more testers, that, that refines it down. But right now we take their mean as their number. So remember this, BCE, before current area, BC, 1955. Now I'm going to flip over and show you what their results are now, this person's haplogroup. I'm going to bring that up for you real quickly here. This person is now at haplogroup R-M7964. Now what that actually tells them, this is their big Y results. They're R-M7964. Big time statement here is 1650 CE, current era or AD. You look at this, that equates to roughly 400 years ago. Now let's go into scientific detail on this. The number is 1653 is what they're estimating or showing where that number is on the mean. So what this tells us is this. Family Finder does give you a confirmed haplogroup, but it's usually several thousand years in the past. So I've gone into this person's block tree, and I want to show you where this comes from here. They, they were right here, R-S1491. That's what they were with the Family Finder. Look at this right here. This is where they are, okay? Now, if you look at this, they go from here, okay? Their next one up is FT253331, and then FT253317, and then FT253738. Then it goes up to the FT109056. And see all the different variants that are in here as it goes up in time. Each one of these represent an, an represent an ancestor. Now that and that gets us to this part of this tree before we even step back in time. Uh, one here, if we click this and go up, you see it to here. Here's this. Notice there are five snips here, two here, and it just there's so many snips back in time. 
and we're still not back to this one. I think that represents what I want to show here. The, the family finder is good and it's going to be upstream of where you are your terminal snip, which is what the big Y gives you. Will a big Y always give you to the within a few hundred years? No. If you happen to be one of those testers that are more unique in your area, you may still be a thousand years ago. Uh, however, there's those of us that have tested in, in our terminal snips within the hundred years. However, no case do you see that the family finder is going to get you closer than a big Y. That's the final conclusion I would say here. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing right here or watching some of this other content. Let's continue learning together.